In this episode, we're going to take a look at the partial quotient method. Let's try an example. Let's take 207 and divide it by 9. In traditional division, you're immediately going to try and solve how many 9s are in the entire 207. But like partial sum, partial difference, partial product, we're actually going to solve this in parts. We're going to create a column on the right side of our page where we're going to keep track of how many 9s we pull out of 207. At the end, we're going to see how many total 9s it took to make 207. Let's start by taking a multiple of 9 that we're very comfortable with. 10 9s is really easy for me. I know 9 times 10 gives me 90. So, so far, we've accounted for 90 of our 207. Let's see how much we have left by taking that 90 away from 207. That leaves us with 117. Now, I look at 117, and I recognize that I could take out 10 more 9s. I know that 10 9s gives me another 90. Let's take that 90 out of 117, which leaves us 27. I recognize that there are 3 9s in 27. And if I take that away, I'm left with nothing. I look over at the right-hand column that I've created to begin with, and I see, in total, to get to 207, I have taken out 23 nines. The answer to this problem, then, is 23. Let's start over with our original problem. The nice thing about doing partial quotient is it allows for a lot of choice and individualization. The more I can recognize multiples of 9 that I can pull out, the easier this problem is going to be. Let's start back at the beginning, and I know just by doing mental math that 10 nines gives me 90. I also know that if I take 20 nines out, that's going to give me 180. If I take that away from my 207, I'm left with 27. And immediately now, I see that there are three nines in 27, which leaves me nothing left to get to my 207. Now, in just two steps, I have figured out that there are 23 nines in 207. Same problem, same process, just a different path to get there.